Hey guys, my name is Jenny and today I'm going to be doing a review for you and today's review is going to be about Tom Brown's Hector Brown bag. I wanted to do the review on this bag because I've been searching like for days on YouTube to see if anyone else did a review on it because before buying the bag, I wish I had some information before I actually purchased the bag only because it is pretty high up there in the price range. So today I decided that I'm gonna take the liberty of doing this review, whether it's good or not, because I do own three dachshunds. They're my babies. And so I felt like I needed to do this review in case anyone was out there considering buying this bag. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the price point. Yeah, it's a little steep, but but I feel like for the price, this bag is worth it. Only because if you look very closely, from far away you can't really tell, but if you look really closely at it, there's so much intricate details that happen on this bag. Like, look at all the, like, I'm not a professional, but if you look at all the stitching, it's just so detailed. Like, I've never seen a bag, like, so detailed before. Anyway, so for, for, for the price, I feel like it is kind of worth it, but then again, I'm not really sure. Moving on to the material, this bag is 100% pebble green leather, and on the inside, there's a tri-colored, what do you call it? Frail? Frail? Frale. Fale. Um, so yeah, it's lined with the tri-colored fale, and it looks like this on the inside. The entire thing, from the handles to the tail to everything, is pebble green leather and this one is in black and each of these bags have these little um the trademark of tom brown this little tag right here and then this bag specifically has this color this rainbow color not rainbow but you know the red white and blue color that's also the signature of tom brown and i just like this one better so i got this one some people prefer the 100 percent black one and that's fine too but as far as the material goes it's it's actually the materials are pretty simple on this bag there's no like extravagant amounts of hardware on it um there is like a little dog tag that says like hector brown and then on the other side it gives the address of i think tom brown's like location his main office or something and then of course the zipper right here is also gold hardware and it's it has that little tom brown logo right there too the zipper is gold i don't think it comes in any other colors because i did see other versions of the bag but regardless of what the color bag is the hardware is always going to be gold to the best of my knowledge next topic is if this bag is actually functional or not um it doesn't look functional but it actually is like you could fit so much stuff into this bag and the size of the bag like it's just perfect so i'm just gonna fit this water bottle in here it's like a full-size regular kirkland water bottle and like literally it just like fits and just like and there's so much more room for other things in here that i feel like the functionality of this bag you could just rule that out completely it's definitely completely functional it stands on its own so you could just set it on the ground if you need to unlike other bags it's so like you could just fit a lot of stuff in here and like the chest area here is very very deep like you see like my finger poking out here <laughs> yeah so this bag is actually really functional and i feel like the best way to like show you the size of the bag is to compare it to an actual dachshund which i do have so i brought poto right here it's a big boy and he is actually the exact same size <laughs> he's kind of big here but <laughs> he's the, like basically the same size as this bag if you like stretch him out all the way and i feel like the size is very realistic hector brown is actually made from like tom brown's actual dog hector and i heard somewhere that he like literally took the exact size as his own dog so they're very similar in size to an actual dog's hunt so overall i feel like for the price and for the amount of intricate detail this bag offers, the functionality that it offers, although I wouldn't travel extremely long distances with it, I mean, when I'm walking around, it, like, it doesn't come with a strap, so I have to be like holding it the whole time. Apart from instances like that, I feel like it's very great to use as an everyday bag. It doesn't get in your way. 
it's so cute you get so many compliments on this bag and I feel like it's very worth it for the money like especially if you get it on sale which they rarely do but I feel like it's completely worth it thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful in any way um, again, it was my first YouTube video, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I felt like I really just needed to take the liberty of making this video only because I own three dog scents and I do have the bag. So as someone that bought the bag already and pulled the plug on that, I felt like it was my job to kind of educate those who want to get this bag on why it's worth it. So I hope you have the best of luck finding this bag and getting the bag and comment down below if you do have the bag so we could talk about it. Thanks guys, bye.